Good evening. We are beginning with breaking news tonight. The CEO of Hacienda Healthcare, Bill Timmons, has just resigned. This comes days after the story broke that a woman in a vegetative state inside his facility gave birth. And that brings us to our top story tonight. A disturbing story reverberating across the state tonight, prompting leaders to speak out and demand justice. Just over a week ago, as we mentioned, a woman in a vegetative state who was being cared for in a Phoenix healthcare facility gave birth, allegedly surprising her family and those who were charged with watching over her. Joe Dane has been getting reaction to this story from police and lawmakers about what could have happened and the reforms that could be on the way. Joe? Governor Ducey issuing a statement that the story is deeply troubling. One key lawmaker who has been working at the heart of the issue of assisted living for many years says the facility involved, Hacienda Healthcare, has a strong reputation, but she says more oversight may be needed. A woman in a vegetative state for more than a decade becomes a mother, as healthcare workers and families say they had no idea she was even pregnant. The delivery of her baby has state leaders expressing shock. Quite frankly, we want to make sure this doesn't happen again, but I think it's just absolutely abhorrent that you have someone that's in a vegetative state that got pregnant. Obviously, there was a sexual assault there. We deserve an answer about what, what went wrong. State Representative Nancy Bardo spent eight years leading the Senate's Health and Human Services Committee. Hacienda Healthcare is licensed by the state and receives Medicare funding. That is certainly troubling. It should be troubling to every parent that has a loved one in, in a group home situation. Last year, the legislature considered allowing families to have surveillance cameras of patients in 24-hour care. There were a lot of um, barriers to getting it done. I think um, we're going to be looking at something like that again. Barto says in the past, Hacienda Healthcare has had a reputation as one of the best. People uh, have walked over broken glass to get their kids and, and, uh, and, and adult children into that place. While Phoenix police interview potentially dozens of employees and family members who have come into contact with the woman, questions being raised tonight about the care of medically vulnerable patients who are helpless and voiceless. Families choose their placements very carefully. They want and they should expect safety. Hacienda Healthcare says they are actively working with Phoenix Police on this investigation. As for its record, the company fired a staff member in 2013 who made inappropriate sexual comments regarding patients. That was part of a state investigation. And last year, according to state records, there were two allegations of abuse and one allegation of neglect that were investigated. Now, it's unclear if anyone was fired over those complaints and if those claims were substantiated. A plan of correction was put into place. Back to you guys. Okay, Joe. Thank